I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, February the 9th, 2016. An Israeli man was stabbed just outside the West Bank Jewish settlement of Neve Daniel today in what appears to have been a terror attack. The man, said to be around 30 years of age, was out jogging when he was attacked. He sustained light to moderate injuries in his shoulder and was taken to Sharai Tzedek Medical Center in Jerusalem. IDF forces were looking for the assailant who fled the scene. Earlier today, a 16-year-old Palestinian teenage girl was arrested at the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem's Old City for pulling a knife on Israeli security forces. Border police officers had asked to search the teen when she took the knife out of her backpack and tried to stab them. She was subdued by the officers and taken in for questioning. There were no injuries. Also today, a 13-year-old Palestinian girl was detained by an Israeli security guard when she was found to have a knife just outside the West Bank Jewish settlement of Karmait Sur. And a fire at a makeshift synagogue near Karmait Sur was determined Sunday to have been arson. The synagogue was set up by residents of a nearby outpost north of Hebron. There were no injuries in the fire, but Torah scrolls and prayer books were burned and destroyed. The arson is suspected to have been carried out by Palestinian assailants. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called on the international community to condemn the incident just as they condemned the desecration of mosques. B'nai B'rith International called the incident an outrageous act of hatred, intolerance and anti-Semitism and expressed their support for the Prime Minister's calls for condemnation. And staying with B'nai B'rith, a trip to Israel facilitated by the organization concluded this week. The five-day visit brought together diplomats from around the globe, posted at key agencies of the United Nations to Israel, providing them with a close look at the country's unique security challenges, as well as a chance to view examples of its democracy. The group visited the Knesset and the Supreme Court of Israel, as well as Jerusalem's Old City and Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They also traveled to Israel's borders with Syria and Lebanon, where the participants received security briefings, as well as meeting with victims of recent Palestinian terrorist attacks. B'nai B'rith International President Gary Saltzman said nothing can dispel misunderstanding about Israel's record as a dynamic, humane democracy in the face of adversity, like actual exposure to the country, its leaders and people. French news agency AFP reports that two former Nazis are set to stand trial this month for their alleged role in the murder of thousands at Auschwitz. 93-year-old Reinhold Hanin will face a court in the western town of Detmold, Germany, beginning on Thursday. He is charged with at least 170,000 counts of accessory to murder from when he was a guard at the death camp. And as we reported to you last month, 95-year-old Hubert Zafke faces at least 3,681 counts in the eastern town of New Brandenburg beginning on February the 29th. Lead prosecutor for the Hanning trial, Andreas Brendel, told AFP that Germany, quote, owes it to victims and their relatives to pursue Third Reich criminals, regardless of their age. President of the World Jewish Congress, Ronald Lauder, agrees, telling AFP that if anyone deemed responsible for any aspect of the Holocaust is still able to stand trial, he or she should be prosecuted. Lauder added, as long as it's possible to bring any of them to justice, it must be done. There is no statute of limitation for mass murder, and there shouldn't be. A team of Israeli and American researchers have found a biological blood marker linked to Alzheimer's disease, something that could ultimately lead to early diagnosis for the progressive and fatal disease. The team is made up of researchers at Tel Aviv University, Rambam Medical Center, the Technion Israel Institute of Technology, and Harvard University. The findings were just published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. Tel Aviv U's lead researcher, Professor Ilana Gozes, noted that the study was small and that one can't reach sweeping conclusions 
and she said the group will now expand the testing. Goza said there is no doubt that this is a clear biological marker of Alzheimer's that could serve as the basis for a simple blood test to diagnose it, adding that such a test could help diagnose patients get preventive treatment that delays and moderates the disease. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight, Tuesday, February the 9th on JBS, at 7 o'clock, veteran NBC newsman Gabe Pressman and the New York Times' Joseph Berger talk about their Jewish upbringings and their careers with Ruth Messenger in a program of the Manhattan Jewish Historical Initiative from the SAJ in New York City. At 8 o'clock, our coverage from the 2015 biennial of the Union for Reform Judaism in Orlando with Haaretz journalist Ari Shavit, former president of the URJ Eric Yaffe, and Israeli Knesset member Stav Shafir, who discuss issues challenging Israel today with Jody Cantor of the New York Times. Then at 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi Ori Regev on L'Chaim, and at 10, author and psychologist Alon Grach talks about the unique Israeli identity in a program of the American Jewish Committee of Westchester, Westchester Jewish Council, and Rosenthal JCC from Scarsdale, New York. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, in the news with Mark Golub. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, February the 9th, 2016. I'm Tisha Bader. <laughs>